Hello there, YouTube. Murray Carter from Carter Cutlery, bringing you guys another sharpening update. When we talk about sharp knives, what is it we're talking about exactly? Most people assume that when a honed blade is sharp enough to shave hairs off your arm or slice newspaper, that that blade is a truly sharp blade. But does that give us the whole picture? I don't think so. There are two facets in a blade that contribute to superior cutting performance. Those are the secondary edge and the primary edge. It is the complex relationship between these two edges that not only allow a blade to initiate a cut into something, the primary edge, but also allow that blade to be pushed through things, and that's the secondary edge. If somebody doesn't understand perfectly this complex relationship between the primary and secondary edges of a blade, and they go to sharpen knives, they'll never have excellent results. Similarly, any sharpening system that does not have a quick and efficient means of removing steel from the secondary edge to thin the blade down, but only addresses how to sharpen the primary edge, is like having half the solution to a problem. Let me show you. Okay, any kind of a sharpening system that looks like this with abrasive set at predetermined angles, it's clear that this system is only designed to address removing metal from the primary edge. There's no real practical means for removing metal from the secondary edge. Yes, sure, if you know as much as I do, if you understand that relationship of the secondary edge to primary edge, you could put your secondary edge flat on one of these abrasives and grind it and accomplish what we normally do more quickly and efficiently with the Japanese water stones. The problem being is that this isn't a very aggressive uh, sharpening medium. You'd be at it all day uh, and half the time you'd spend during that day would be cleaning out or cleaning up the ceramic rod because it loads up with steel particles so fast that with each successive stroke you take, there's less and less metal being abraded. Just very not practical at all. And, and it's clear, or from another perspective, it's unclear to the purchaser that this setup was designed for anything other than the primary edge. Not very good at all. Similarly, some kind of system like this where you get different abrasives and you get your jig, you put your knife in there and you you uh, move the abrasives back and forth at a predetermined angle. You know, no, no uh, means within that kit of grinding your secondary edge. Now, if you understand, again, the, the, the principles, you could take one of these abrasives freehand, put it flat on your secondary edge, and grind it back and forth. Ooh, those diamonds are nasty. You know, that'll remove metal from your secondary edge. Is it quick? Is it efficient? Not at all. You know, if you're going to go through that much effort and energy, you could do it in half or maybe a third of the amount of time with a good set of water stones or even a really high quality set of oil stones using enough oil to flush the slurry off the surface. And uh, you know, again, forget about any kind of ceramic rod like this. In a pinch, could you put your secondary edge flat on that and rub it back and forth and grind some metal? Sure you can, but can you see what's happening as I do that? Look at that stone load up. Okay, and the more it loads up, the more the blade starts to slide. Is it quick and efficient? No. Could you do it? Yeah, in a pinch. I've done it myself. And, and, and once you've mastered sharpening, you could use any of these devices if that's all you had. But in almost all, all cases, you always will have uh, the proximity to something better, namely water stones. So because most of these sharpening systems remain at your house unused, I mean, you probably used them a couple of times, but you're not using them regularly. That's what I mean by unused. You know, we initiated this campaign where you guys can send us in the sharpening systems you're no longer using in exchange for store credit. So hopefully we can get you into some Japanese water stones. You know what I've noticed? With almost all the customers of mine who get Japanese water stones, and then I meet up with them, you know, a couple weeks later or months later or years later, I say, how are their stones? I say, oh, great, I use them all the time. Do you use your sharpening system all the time? Are you always getting razor sharp knives? And are you maintaining the secondary edge on your blades as well? That's why we had this campaign, so that you could get into a better system. If you're interested in this topic, by all means, get our new video production, Blade Sharpening Fundamentals. 
We have it in both physical copy and it's also available for digital download. Just go to cartercutlery.com. Of additional interest to you might be Bladesmithing with Murray Carter, our new book. And uh, all of these topics are covered in great detail as well. Some beautiful, lots of uh, full color photographs and lots of great explanations, you know, on everything about knives. Well, guys, I sure hope that uh, clears up some confusion. And uh, if you guys get any questions or concerns, you email us at murray at cartercutlery.com. Okay, well, enough chit-chat, guys. I got to get to work and go make some knives. God bless you. Stay sharp. Okay, this is Murray Carter from Carter Cutlery saying stay sharp and God bless you until we meet again.